Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at Haven Dock. It's a resource management, base building and simulation game where you try to survive in the middle of the sea and build a thriving town. You attract settlers on board, manage them and try to meet their expectations. Live your best life on the ocean and lead your humble settlement into a high tech society. And also, create and customize your own character. Ha! Boom! Here we are. We're going to have a look at the initial character creation and customization when you first jump into the game uh, i'm going to say right here at the start that the accessories and the quirks we're going to check them out but they don't affect the gameplay in any way all of this is purely cosmetic there might be stuff in the game afterwards that you can sort of change and customize but that's not something we're going to be covering here with all of that said if you'd like to do a deep dive discover more about the game i'll put some links below and you can as always just use the timestamps to jump between the different parts of this video let's get started Male and female. You get to switch between the two. It doesn't seem to change anything in terms of the options you have available. So we're just going to sort of flip between them here and there. And, and sort of see what some of these options look like on male versus on female. Uh, but we're not going to have two separate sections for them. Uh, you get to pick your pronouns. He, him, she, her, they, them, or it, it. But we'll take it, it. And I think for now let's just go with uh, male. Skin tones, decent selection here, quite pale on the one side, quite dark on the other side, good, 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 good. Clothing color, most likely going to be covered up pretty soon after you jump in. I don't know for sure, but there's a good chance you'll start equipping armor and stuff like that. Uh, let's take this one, it looks like a diving suit, I kind of dig that. Then, you get to pick your eyes and mouth, and there are some super silly choices. Yeah, I love it when games don't take themselves too seriously, man, this is fantastic. You can make a face that every time you zoom into it and you see it on camera, that'll give you a good chuckle, a hearty laugh. Like, what's better than that? Huh? What's better than that? So I will just uh, straight up thank the devs for... <laughs> for adding these eyes specifically. Seriously, I think those ones are just calling out to me, screaming my name. Mouths. That's a nice combination. But I think this is the ultimate right here. That's cool. That's cool. Got the tongue out. Got the gasp in mouth. The straight line. The fangs. It's kind of great. I mean, you can take it seriously. You can sort of do this, you know. There you go. Look at that. Uh-huh. A sultry beauty. Indeed. Uh, you will see that when you switch between these ones, the hair color does in fact change a little bit with it uh, but that is I don't want to say it's negligible because it does make a difference but that is uh, a sort of minor thing because once again I do think that you're going to be covering up pretty soon it is however the way your character looks and it's important so we're looking at all the options uh, the eyes let's let's just let's just look around a little bit and see what else we can make huh? <laughs> yeah that's perfect oh my god how about this one and then do we have some like <laughs> I love it dude I love it no these are just great these are actually just great there you go that's nice wait no let's get some there it is perfect let's get some angry where's an angry mouth to be honest that one actually looks kind of perfect or oh, this one here yeah that's great not sure where you'd put the at eyes like i'm not sure what that would go with but eh, whatever it's funny how they can just take these two little bumps flip them over and it's a different set of eyes that's crazy right they've got the little ooh, ooh, ooh mouth there yeah so needless to say there are a lot of cool options here <laughs> i'm sure you could do something nice uh, let's leave it on this for now, and then let's look at the accessories. There's a nice top hat with 5% cool factor. A chef hat, plus 5% British accent. A mask, minus 5% chance to get the plague, of course. Sunglasses, minus 5% chance to get blinded by the sun. A paper bag is minus 5% social anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> a party box this is a five percent glow in the dark you got the eternal flame which is five percent hotness i can see that yeah i can see that snowman five percent jolliness 
The halo is 5% angelic aura. That's imaginary food. Okay. What the heck? 5% obesity rate. The starstruck is 5% chance to confuse. Po <laughs> Poopy. 5% chance to inflict diarrhea. Speaking of not taking itself too seriously. <laughs> Sunshine. That's from the sunflower. Cowboy hats, 5% guts. I like how none of them really fit right. It's, <laughs> it's just like randomly plopped on your head. Uh, and then the scuba gear is 5% lung capacity. And I think that's the end. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. They look much the same on the male character. Uh, the The... I feel like the glasses and some of the other stuff fit a little bit better, like the mask as well. It's like it was made for the male character. Uh, but, it's, yeah, again, much the same. Much the same. And then the quirks, again, cosmetic doesn't affect the game. Perfectionist. You like to make sure everything is exactly how you like it. No room for error. Procrastinator. You're so good at procrastinating, you make others feel good about themselves. Food lover. Eating food gives you more happiness, but you move slowly when you are hungry. A hopeless believer. You are so hopeless and believe in the good of the world. Others look up to you, uh, either out of pity or awe. Hopefully the latter. Nerdy genius. You're good at what you're good at, but suck at everything else. <laughs> yeah, no. Wow, okay. You don't say. Uh, Night Owl, you're born to move 50% faster uh, and be 100% more productive at night. They have no gameplay effect, even though they sound like they do, by the way. Overambitious, you like to play games on hard mode. Music lover, the background music in this game is more interesting to listen to, or maybe less, depending on your tastes. This is an encephalic. You feel like you have an anomaly in your body which has side effects in the brain, or lack thereof. Charismatic, you are charismatic and full of empathy. People are delighted by your charming presence and you tend to get good deals. Photographer, you're born with a pair of cinematic eyes and you believe life is 10% more beautiful to look at than others. Architect, who would have thought your degree in architecture is now an essential skill that possibly uh, transferable to base building games? Exploiter, you have, to find, you have to find a way to break this game, crash the game, discover bugs and drop the game to zero FPS. <laughs> Coffee lover relies on caffeine to perform daily tasks, just like a computer needing electricity. Unlucky, you believe... You have been handed a bad lot in life, but your persistence lets you find a way to pull through uh, and pull yourself out from the darkest depths. Micromanager. You like to manage things, or people, and you hope the game lets you do that. Grumpy. You have high expectations, often finding yourself complaining about things, and you've already got a list of things to critique about the game. Dreamer. You love to lay in bed, you hate waking up, and dream of taking a job where you get to be paid to lay in bed all day. Melancholic, you get really sad easily and love listening to really sad songs to feel really sad about <laughs> your really sad heart. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Invincible. You either feel like you're too good for this game or feel like it unlocks an easier, uh, an Easter egg making you invincible in the game. Tip, it does not. And then, <laughs> and then finally, there's nothing unique about you. Awesome. Awesome stuff. <laughs> I love it. Man. What a fun character creator. You know, it's a bunch of stuff that really doesn't matter. But still, somehow, it makes all the difference in the world. So, yeah. Like, well done to the devs of this game. Kudos to them for making this a cool experience. Uh, if you guys want to, tell me if you've been having fun with this. If you've tried it out. Uh, if you made a character that represents you quite uh, perfectly and clearly. I'd love to hear about it. Leave those comments. Give this video a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Are there any cool combinations that you managed to uh, think up here? Because I feel like, yeah, man. You could definitely make something fun, quirky, interesting here. Let me know. And as always, check back here soon for more. Happy creating those characters, guys. Happy that.